guys, Tactic here. Um, I want to show you this twos video of Enhanced Feral against a Holy Paladin Warrior. This is typically one of our hardest setups because we have to deal with MS and Holy Paladin is one of the best healers right now. Um, as my talents wise, I go Cliff of Purging for Maelstrom so I can heal and Cliff of Cap because getting those quick caps off to get stuns can really save yourself. Alright, uh, let's get started here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick voiceover right now because my mic didn't record so we'll just do kind of play by play um, where it comes in I'm just gonna kind of purge off maybe get some early maelstroms before he even gets in I, like the battle. I at the start there I cast my fire early and I ported it over there by the stairs so he can have easy access to kill it this is basically crucial if you run fire early and you want to have it lasting the full minute um, he hodged my feral and I instantly went behind the pillar to avoid any damage on him because the feral is too far away for the warrior to hit. Uh, try to get that stun and then try to kite this blade storm. To my effect, it didn't work out very well, but uh, saving freedom or even spirit walker blade storm is really good survival survival tactics against the warrior because the blade storm right now is really dirty. Um, oh we use a cap stun and we there we go we cap the warrior off so we can save a little bit, and uh, he ended up the cyclone when the pally dispels. Um, when you play Enhanced Feral a, a lot, you want to do these kind of reset things where you CC, say, both the healers, so stun one healer and cycle on the other, or hex one healer or hex a guy and then cycle on the other, and then just reset and pop the full until you can kind of um, reset the game and get back to full health. Um, I'm looking at my freedom right now, and I'm like, okay, freedom, I'm out of here, Blade Storm, see ya. See, it's just, I... And, I avoided all the damage there. So I'm on myself to full, get full health, uh, try to do a little bit more damage right now. Um, as this comp, it's easier, I almost say, for them to go your Feral, just because he can get away a lot easier than you can. Um, and you'll be able to provide more off, better off heals, where if they go you, your off heals are kind of limited. But, I mean, it's almost a lose-lose because playing Enhanced Feral, if they're not going you, that means the Feral can spam as many Cyclones as you want and do many resets. So I'm trying to get the sack off. Uh, didn't really work, but I just waited for it and uh, hexed right out of that. And we actually got a trinket from that. We're in a lot of trouble right now. Stunned. About 30% health. But, again, saving our... Sprints, my feral cyclones, he trinket he cyclones his trinket, and I'm gonna try to heal up. Didn't expect the paladin to kick me there, but shit happens. But again, he gets it's another reset. I'm getting back to full health until we can do something. It's, it's all about playing these these mind games with, with these teams and doing as many resets as possible and getting uh, as high as health as possible before engaging because Holy Paladin Warriors sh literally should beat every team. Like they, they, sh they should have no excuse. They have so many outs and so many defensives that they should never lose to us. So we have to make them play our game. Um, I don't have a Freedom or a uh, Spirit Walk for this Blade Storm, so I popped AG because I know I had to eat it. I have Strom Rage really soon. I'm trying to juke this guy's mass spell, but he's not seeming to popping it. I might be able to get full hex here. Yeah, there we go. Another full reset. Cyclone the warrior and hex the paladin. I'm going to top myself to full. We got the paladin's bubble to come out. I'm trying to get bop. I have a sentence really soon and it's really GG. I have a cap too as well. But I don't think I'm going to have to use it. Because I see cyclones again. See, that's like the beauty thing is, right? He's going me. My feral can do as much CC as you want. It's just, you have to play smart with your positioning, and because of that, we won the game against a fairly high team. Uh, they're roughly 2100, right? Thanks guys, and I, if you like this kind of video, this kind of over, to, over video commentary, uh, give me a like, and uh, tell me if you want more. Thanks.